Hey, in this video, let's use a state list drawable to customize an image button. And here I have already prepared my project. I have three different images for three different states of a button. First one is the normal state. It's red in color and I have the pressed state which is green and we also have a disabled state. Now we're going to create an image button with all these three different states using a state list drawable. To do that, let's go to resource, right click and create a new folder that is called a drawable. And now I want to create a new XML resource. Let's create a selector and I'm going to name it as now. Click on finish. So here is the selector and in the case of a stateless drawable, pressed has the highest priority followed by the enabled or the disabled state and finally we have the normal state of the button. So let's go ahead and create an item Android state is pressed is true and we're going to have a drawable property which is going to be a trait of now and the score pressed. I'm going to add two more states. The next one is state enabled is false because we'll have a disabled state and we're going to replace it with now disabled. The last is the default item or the default state for which I'm going to specify only the drawable property. So that is it. We have three different states and we have a drawable that is ready. Let's go to image button and let me drag an image button. You can find it under images and media and we have the image button here. Let me drag it. And for this image button, I'm going to assign the now selector and click on OK. So here it is. We have the now button and we also have a background for this button, which we don't need. So we're going to remove this. Let's go to the background property. And here, instead of the background trouble, we're going to replace this with a transparent color. And the transparent color is a part of the Android's built-in resource. So let's go ahead and write color slash transparent. And that way you can remove the background for your image button. We are done now. Let's go ahead and run this application. Run it as an Android application. Click on OK. And to the emulator, here it is. And let's go ahead and click on it. You can see the state of the button changes. Let's go ahead and try to disable this button. Image buttons do not respect the XML attributes to disable them. So we'll have to do it programmatically. Let's go ahead and give this an ID. I'm going to name this now. Click on OK. And let's go to the code. And here, right inside the code, I'm going to create an instance for the image button. Now, image button is equal to find view by ID r.id.now. And let's typecast it. Let's go ahead and disable this from right here. Set enabled, false. We are done. Let me run this application for you. Save S and switch to the emulator. That's about it. So in this video, we saw how to remove the background for your image button. And we also saw how to disable a button programmatically because image buttons generally do not respect XML attributes. That's about it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.